Imagine this. A visitor from another star system, silent, ancient, and hurtling through the darkness faster than any comet we've ever seen. A traveler that has crossed the emptiness between the stars, carrying secrets of another world, another time. This is 3i Atlas. It's only the third confirmed interstellar object ever discovered in human history. The first was Oumuamua in 2017, the second was Borisov in 2019, and now in 2025 comes Atlas, a mysterious, ghostly body racing through our solar system before disappearing forever into the night. And just recently, astronomers, including Colin Orion Chandler, revealed something new, a revised estimate of its true size, one that changes what we thought we knew about this visitor from beyond. When it was first discovered by the Atlas Sky Survey in early July of 2025, it appeared faint, distant, and fast, too fast to belong to our solar system. Its path through the sky revealed it wasn't bound by the sun's gravity at all. It was simply passing through, on a hyperbolic orbit that would take it briefly through our neighborhood before sending it back into the interstellar void. The speed is staggering, roughly 61 kilometers per second, or about 130,000 miles per hour relative to the sun. That's more than twice the velocity of Earth's orbit. In cosmic terms, it's a blur. It's moving so quickly that the sun's gravity barely slows it. It will never return. As astronomers refined its path, they realized it would make its closest approach to the sun, about 1.4 astronomical units, in late October of 2025. That's a little farther than Earth's orbit near the distance of Mars. At its closest to us, it'll still be about 1.8 astronomical units away, around 270 million kilometers. So no threat, just a breathtaking opportunity to observe a messenger from another star system. Now here's where things got interesting. Early on, based on its brightness, many thought 3i Atlas might be enormous, possibly 10 kilometers wide or more. But the new observations, particularly those led by astronomer Colin Orion Chandler and his team using the Vera C. Rubin Observatory, have changed that. The data gathered from pre-discovery images and new photometric analysis suggest the nucleus, the solid core of this comet-like object, is much smaller than we first imagined. Hubble's data helped refine the numbers. Using advanced imaging and modeling of its brightness, astronomers placed an upper limit on its diameter likely less than 5.6 kilometers across. And depending on how reflective its surface is, it could even be as small as a few hundred meters wide. That's a massive revision, from something perhaps the size of a small city to something no larger than a mountain. The reason for the uncertainty is the coma, the bright, hazy cloud of dust and gas surrounding the nucleus. When sunlight heats the object, ices inside begin to sublimate, turning from solid to gas, and drag dust outward, creating a fuzzy halo that hides the true body. Telescopes mostly see the coma, not the nucleus, making it difficult to measure the actual size. But the more precise modeling now suggests the solid core could be anywhere from a few hundred meters up to maybe three kilometers in radius. And that's the update astronomers are excited about. Why does the size matter? Because size tells us so much more than just how big something looks. It reveals its mass how much gravity it has, how it reacts to the sun's heat, how long it will remain active, and even what it might tell us about its birthplace. A larger body means more internal pressure, more gravity to hold on to its material. A smaller one means it could be fragile, easily breaking apart under solar heating or tidal forces. As it turns out, 3i Atlas appears to be quite active already, even while still far from the sun. Observations from Gemini South and NASA's Infrared Telescope Facility have revealed signs of water ice and carbon dioxide gas being released, creating that faint, glowing coma we can now detect. In its light spectrum, scientists saw the fingerprints of water, carbon compounds, and possibly organic molecules. It's behaving very much like a comet, but one that was born around a completely different star. Think about that for a second. This object formed in another solar system. Maybe billions of years ago, it was part of a planet-forming disk around a young star, one of countless icy fragments orbiting in the outskirts. At some point, gravitational chaos struck, 
Perhaps a massive planet or a passing star flung it out, ejecting it into interstellar space. For millions or even billions of years, it drifted between stars, frozen, untouched, until, by sheer cosmic coincidence, it crossed paths with our sun. Some estimates, based on its motion through the galaxy, suggest it could be as old as 10 billion years, older than our sun itself. It might be a fragment from a star that no longer even exists. When we look at 3i Atlas, we're looking at material forged in the early days of our galaxy, long before our solar system was born. That's what makes it so special. Every interstellar object is a sample, a physical piece, dear, of another world. Umuamua gave us one mystery, a strange tumbling shape and no visible tail. Borisov gave us another, a clear, comet-like body rich in carbon monoxide. And now Atlas adds a third piece to that cosmic puzzle. A mid-sized active body with water and carbon dioxide ice, moving faster than anything of its kind we've ever recorded. This new size estimate helps refine how we understand the population of interstellar visitors. A smaller size means such objects may be far more common than we thought, just faint, hard to detect, slipping through our solar system unnoticed. It also helps astrophysicists model how often material gets ejected from planetary systems and how these fragments survive the harsh radiation and collisions of deep space. If 3i Atlas truly is just a kilometer or two across, it suggests that small comet-like bodies can survive billions of years in interstellar space without completely eroding, that frozen molecules can remain stable, locked away in cold darkness, until a random encounter with another star's gravity brings them back to life. In the coming months, astronomers all over the world are preparing to observe it. The Rubin Observatory, the Hubble Space Telescope, NASA's NEOWISE mission, and even Mars orbiters may capture images as it passes near Mars's orbit. Some teams hope to measure how its coma changes, whether its brightness increases as it nears the sun, and if the nucleus fragments as it heats up. Every observation brings us closer to understanding what these interstellar travelers are made of, and what they can teach us about how planetary systems evolve and disperse material across the galaxy. But as exciting as these discoveries are, 3i Atlas still keeps many secrets. We still don't know its exact rotation period, how fast it spins. We don't know its precise shape. We can't yet pinpoint its home system or exactly how long it's been traveling. We can't even say for sure how long it will remain active once it swings past the sun. For now it remains a mystery, a moving relic of deep time, carrying within it the chemistry of another world. And when you think about that, when you really pause and imagine this object, this shard of alien ice and dust crossing our sky, it's hard not to feel something deeper, because it reminds us that our solar system isn't an isolated island in space. It's part of a vast galactic ocean where fragments of one world can drift for eons and eventually visit another. Each interstellar object we discover is a connection, a physical bridge between distant star systems. It's proof that the galaxy is alive with motion, with exchange, with cosmic stories that stretch across light years. Wainui Atlas won't be here long. Within months after its closest approach, it'll be gone, heading back out toward the dark between the stars perhaps never to be seen again. But for a short time it passes through our skies, reminding us that we're part of something far greater. If you could hitch a ride on 3i Atlas, leaving the sun behind and drifting into the endless dark between the stars, would you go? Because that's what this is. A reminder that the universe is vast, ancient, and alive with motion. That we are, in a small but profound way, connected to every star.